Lesson 5, Managing OLAP Processing The easiest way to make sure that an OLAP database is completely consistent with the data warehouse and with itself is to process the entire database. When you process the database, you completely discard all the dimensions and cubes within the database and create new ones. This takes place as a single transaction, which means that client applications can continue to use the existing cubes until processing is complete. It also means that if an error occurs at any point during the processing, the entire change is rolled back, again ensuring that the database is internally consistent. Processing the entire database is the simplest, cleanest, and best option, provided that you have sufficient time and storage space available. Consequently, some databases are simply too large to process as a single transaction. Analysis Services provides several options for processing individual components of a database. These options allow you to create and manage extremely large databases, but they also require much more work. Part 1, Processing a Dimension When you process a dimension, the server creates a map that includes the path for each member of that dimension. Every cube that includes the dimension uses that map. When you process an existing dimension, the map is destroyed and a new map is created. Destroying the dimension map invalidates all the cubes that use the dimension. When you process an entire database, new dimensions are processed first and then all the cubes are processed as well. But when you process a single dimension, you may call the cubes that use that dimension inaccessible to client applications. Fortunately, you can make certain changes to a dimension without destroying the existing map. If you don't destroy the existing map, you don't invalidate existing cubes. Analysis Services allows you to incrementally update a dimension to make changes that don't destroy the dimension map. Click Browser tab and Browse Data. Double click Salesman Dimension. Click Browser tab and Browse Data. In SQL Server Enterprise Manager, add a new salesman. Click Reconnect button. Dimension has not been updated. Process the dimension. Select Process Full in the Process Update drop-down list and click Run. Click Close twice and click Reconnect button. Now, Dimension has been updated. Delete one record. Any change in the database requires processing the dimension.
Update 2 Records. The dimension has been updated. Now, compare the effects of the full process option. Select process full in the process options drop down list, and then click impact analysis. The information on this screen tells you that if you proceed with a full process of the salesman, all measure groups, partitions, and cubes in the database will also need to be processed. If you do not process the cube, you will receive this error. Process the OLAP database. Now, the cube is working properly. Part 2, Processing a Cube When you click the process command for a cube that has already been processed, the default processing option is always process full. But you can select other option. One option, process incremental, is both powerful and dangerous. It creates new cube files, precisely as if you were using the process full option. When the processing is complete, however, the server doesn't replace the old files with the new ones. Rather, it merges the two sets of files, creating a third set of cube files. Finally, it deletes all but the third set of files and renames those files to become the final cube files. Right click the cube, and then click process. Select Process Incremental in the Processing Options drop-down list, and then click the Configure link. Select Partition. Choose Query option, type Query and click OK. Click Run. Click Close twice. Click Reconnect button. The data has been duplicated. To avoid loading the same values into a MOLAP cube more than once, you need to perform one of two tasks before using Process Incremental. Retrieve values from a different table. Filter the fact table to retrieve only specific values.
the process structure option is using to rebuild the structure of cube. The data will be deleted. Add to records. Select Process Incremental in the Processing Options drop-down list, and then click the Configure link. Type Query and click OK. Now, the process incremental option is used correctly. Do you want to learn new skills in the fastest and most effective way? Visit Learn with Video Tutorials.com